Time now for another look at news that Swift will add a blockchain-based ledger to its infrastructure stack. The groundbreaking move will accelerate and scale the benefits of digital finance across more than 200 countries and territories worldwide. It's envisaged that the ledger, a secure real-time log of transactions between financial institutions, will record sequence and validate transactions and enforce rules through smart contracts. And joining me now to discuss this in more detail are a returning Thierry Colosi, Chief Business Officer at SWIFT, and Michael Spiegel, Global Head of Transaction Banking, Standard Chartered Bank. Welcome to the both of you. Still energised here, right at the end of Cybos <laughs> 2025. I hope you've both had a wonderful and fruitful and interesting time here in Frankfurt. Uh, Michael, I'm going to start with you, sir. Uh, we've heard a lot this week about the benefits of tokenization. Can you help us understand what this will bring to your end clients? Yeah, look, clients are increasingly looking at a world where they want not only to see data, but also assets and therefore value move instantly. And that's currently not the case. Mm. And in emerging markets, in fast growing markets, the demand for always on is accelerating and they're looking at reliable services. And tokenization is actually bringing a reliable service, actually brings, in, brings a innovation to the market that we can then bring to our clients. In my mind, the landscape of finance or digital finance is at a tipping point. So tokenization and digital assets are about to move from pilot into mainstream. And at Standard Chartered Bank, we have been a, a leader in this, in this area. Thierry, uh, why is SWIFT, a trusted backbone of global finance, now moving into blockchain-based ledger technology? Yes, so I'll take a, a step back. So today we connect about 11,500 financial institutions across the globe, over 200 countries. I've, I've, my, Michael has just said, financial institutions are already taking a leap forward around tokenization. We feel the momentum and it's been on day four of Cybos and every single meeting we, we're having, this embracing tokenization, as Michael said, is the new reality. There is a challenge, however. Uh, the ecosystem is still fragmented. There is a, a lack of global standards or interoperability, something that we've done at Swift on the fiat rails. So for us, extending the current infrastructure with a blockchain-based ledger is just a natural extension. It's the, it's the right time, it's a natural extension, and we're quite excited about the journey. Of course, this isn't something SWIFT are doing alone, is it? How important is the community in making this a reality? Oh, critical, critical. You've seen that we, we are together with a group of over 30 global financial institutions. Uh, we need to tackle this together. Every single institution is already in its journey to improve the service level to their clients. And in, in order to unlock that benefit of scale, we need to work together. And this is what is most exciting about the moment where we live, is the coming together of these financial institutions. We, SWIFT, will take the lead at the infrastructure level, making sure the technology is there. We are collaborating with consensus for the first phase of the prototype. But working with the financial institution is critical. We'll work with them. We will consult central bank to make sure that we choose the best settlement model, the best tokens for that exchange to happen. Michael, looking at this more broadly, how do you see this shaping the future of finance? Well, look, as Thierry said, the, the, the biggest challenge in digital finance we have at the moment is the lack of interoperability. We have great networks, but on, in a digital, on the chain, we, we cannot move across the networks. So us working and supporting SWIFT in this endeavor is critical for actually to move the digital economy to where it wants to be or where it has to be. I look at the group of banks as the coalition of the willing and able to work collaboratively mm -hmm. with SWIFT and the regulators to create this infrastructure, which is industry-wide and will enable us to support and facilitate commerce globally. And it's not only those banks, it is all banks, and it goes across all territories. We're there to support, facilitate commerce and the economy at large, 
And this is critically important from my perspective. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us to unpack that a little for us. Uh, Thierry, it's great to have you here. Three times with Cyboss this year. That might be a new record, yeah. uh, but it's been wonderful to, to share the sofa with you. And I guess it's up to you guys out there who are watching this, the delegates and the banks, to collaborate and to move us forward on this matter. And we'll see where we are in 12 months' time. That's Thierry Colosi, Chief Business Officer at SWIFT, and Michael Spiegel, Global Head of Transaction Banking, Standard Chartered Bank.